Hi guys, JC here, continuing on my mission to help Notre Dame students understand what's going on with Notre Dame Day. I'm here with famed finance professor Carl Ackerman. Carl, they're telling me you have a magical formula that can help me understand Notre Dame Day. Yeah, JC, I, I actually do. Are you familiar with the concept of return on investment or ROI? Carl, I had you in class. Which means you know nothing about it. No. So I actually have, happen to have the formula up, so let's go over here uh, and review it. The return on an investment is equal to the gain from that investment minus the cost of the investment over the cost of the investment. Uh, and if you had invested in the stock market over the past several decades, what do you think your ROI would have been in a typical year? Maybe 10%. Yeah, JC, that's actually uh, perfectly co correct. Congratulations. Uh, at least uh, you were paying attention uh, during that one fleeting moment when we, sure. when we covered that one yeah, concept. Yeah. So if you invested in the stock market, uh, your ROI would be uh, about 10% per year. But an investment uh, in any division of the university uh, through Notre Dame Day will have a much higher ROI because that division will go out and do something really wonderful. Others will benefit from that and then they will be inspired to go out and do other really noble and honorable things. And of course, uh, others will observe those good deeds and be inspired to, to go out and, and do even more. That's what we call in finance uh, the multiplier effect. And that's why the ROI of an investment in Notre Dame Day is so much higher than in the stock market. You know, JC, it's also a much better investment than that other one you're considering, uh, a game ticket to that sorry franchise that you follow, the New York Knicks. How dare you, Carl? How dare you? How dare you, you punk? No, this has been a long time coming.